I think somebody would want to study um, the MSc in Economics here at Sheffield because they would want to build on their undergraduate skills and develop the skills they need to be a professional economist. There's a broad set of analytical skills that you're going to gain, so that can include statistics and econometrics, which you need to evaluate the evidence of, of economic policies, say. You will pick up mathematical skills that you need to model different economic theories. And more broadly, you'll get a broad range of, of, of skills that you need when you're considering a new problem or a new policy or a new change in the economy to see what are the essential features of that change and therefore what you need to focus on when you're evaluating it. As well as doing international quality research, we're also very involved in policy issues and policy questions. We advise government departments, so that would be a topic that students will be able to talk to staff about. I chose to study my Masters at Sheffield because um, here the uh, Department of Economics is separate to a management school, so the lecturers that will be taking your courses, it's their specialism, they're not doing any uh, cross-curricular sort of study, so they, one of the benefits of that is they can bring their research into the lectures and you can get some real world examples to advance your own knowledge. In terms of advice I'd be thinking of giving someone. Um, first I'd make sure they're just wary that it is a technical subject as are all the MSc Economics courses at Sheffield. But in particular about the MSc Economics course is that it allows you to uh, follow a lot of broader interests in different areas. So if you wanted to keep your options open it may be the best option for you. So one of the benefits of the dissertation here at Sheffield is that you can follow more niche interests that are really current. Um, so my particular uh, research is into the relationship between energy consumption and economic growth. What we're trying to do there is think about what the causality is between them so we can design environmental policy and make sure it's not going to negatively impact on economic growth. To come and do the MSc in economics, you need to have done an undergraduate degree which has included the core components of economics, so mi microeconomics, macroeconomics, also some maths and some econometrics or statistics. Um, but fundamentally we're looking for students who've got a passion for economics, who want to develop what they've done before, take it out into the real world and make a difference, and who want to go out and have a career as a professional economist.